Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours of HUD homes in and around the San Antonio and Houston area. I've been specializing in HUD homes since 1996 and in 2012 I started filming real virtual tours like the one you're about to watch. So connect with me by clicking on one of our social media links or if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button to be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in the Meadow Brook Freeway subdivision, which is located off of Monroe and 45 going southwest in Houston. We're standing in front of 8310 Glen Scott. That's 8310 West Scott. It's a very nice three bedroom, two bath home. It has a two car garage. It is approximately 2,335 square feet. It was built in 1958. It sits on about a 7,800 square foot lot. And best of all, this home is about $34,000 underneath the county appraisal, quite a bit under. It's an older, more established neighborhood, but it's actually pretty nice. And the interior of this home, you can tell this home has some really good construction. The roof doesn't appear to be very old. Exterior wise, it's brick and wood siding. And it's in pretty decent condition on the exterior. It needs a little bit of maintenance when it comes to all of the growth, the, the shrubs, the brush, the bushes and all of that stuff, but um, it could clean up really nicely. You have this nice carport here. You do have a two car garage, which is also very nice. A decent sized fence, exterior wise really just needs a little bit of painting. Maybe look at a little bit of the wood or the paint that's chipping and inspect for some wood. But exterior wise it's in decent condition. Maybe change the paint scheme because this brown is a little, a little blah. It does have a lot of iron bars, I guess for security reasons. And it has this interesting front. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't realize the camera had panned up. It does have these interesting bars and it does have this uh, interesting front door. So let's take a look at the backyard and then we'll look at the inside. But we have a couple of ways to get outside. One way to get into the backyard is off of the garage. Back part of the home is the old wood siding, which is kind of neat, very durable. And there's a second way to get out to the back of the home. And now I believe this back part here that we're looking at is actually an addition. I don't believe this was original to the structure. It looks like they poured a slab and added this back part, but there's another way to get out to the backyard, which I'll show you from the inside. The three sides of the home are brick. The back is the, uh, the wood uh, shingle siding, and you can see it's going to need a little bit of pressure washing and some painting. Maybe consider removing these bars. They're kind of unsightly, but uh, that's about it for the exterior. The roof doesn't appear to be particularly old, so let's take a look at the inside of this home, and then I'll give you a summary. Well, when we step into the home, we have a big formal living room right up front. Now it's a little bit dark in this room, so you probably want to have some lamps uh, installed, but it does have beautiful original wood floors. I think that's a really nice touch. If we continue in, then we have your kitchen and really a small little breakfast area here that I'm standing in. You could put a small table right here and then have your uh, kitchen area there. To the right, we have your garage a little storage room and your washer and dryer connections and then that's the door that gives you access out to the backyard but it's a pretty standard garage kitchen looks like it has the original ceramic tiles but the actually the countertops and cabinetry all look relatively new so i'm sorry the, the all the cabinetry looks relatively new you have this nice pantry this does not look original to the year that the home was built and they may have even upgraded the the, uh, the countertop but this tile does look like it's original. You have this beautiful little opening here into this addition at the back, which is the part I was telling you about. I think it's an additional living room that they added. So you could have a small breakfast table here. You have this nice bookshelf and an additional possible dining or second family room here. At the back here is a part I was telling you that I think is an addition because it does have a window unit and that's the sliding glass door that takes you outside. So this could be a big open family room at the back of the home. You want to inspect the roof, make sure that it doesn't have any leaks because I noticed over here in this room here, there is evidence of what looks like it could be a little leak. So inspect that. We come to the bedroom side of the home, which is the far end, which is actually pretty nice. All of the bedrooms over here have wood floors except for the master. So this bed bedroom number one at the back of the home has beautiful wood floors, has wallpaper you probably want to take down. Maybe install some closet doors. The floors look great in this room. Right next to that, we have full bathroom number one. It's a little dark in here, guys, but you have a single vanity. Currently doesn't have a mirror, which is interesting. Shower and tub combo, which all looks original. And obviously original sink and cabinetry here. 
your commode and a little wall heater. And down the hallway and to the right of that is where we have bedroom number two, pretty standard bedroom. There's beautiful wood floors, it's going to need closet doors. And then down at the front of the home is where we have your master bedroom, <clears throat> which does have carpeting and has a couple of really large closets, which I think is pretty interesting. You have a closet here, these two windows, and this may have been actually two bedrooms at one point turned into one large master. You have these closets here, and then you have this closet here. So quite a bit of closet space. I, I personally think because of this beam right up front here, or up top that you see, that this was, <clears throat> pardon me, at one point another bedroom. You can see that they closed in a window here. I'm not sure if you can tell, but they closed in a window there. So that leads me to believe this was probably two bedrooms at one point that they turned into one big master. You have this little seating, vanity seating area here. And then the master bath, which is a single vanity and a shower only, but it has a lot of storage in here. And this is not uncommon for a, um, a home that was built like this in the late 50s. That's about it. Nice home. HUD is offering a $100 down payment option on this home. And as I mentioned, it is way under county appraisal, about $34,000 under the county appraisal. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 8310 Glenscott. That's 8310 Glenscott, a beautiful home. It's a little bit older, but it has a ton of potential and it's over $30,000 underneath the county appraisal. This beautiful big home is listed right now for only $150,000. So if you're interested in this home or you have any questions, please call me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan, I am the HUD King and I wanna help you find your castle.